Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the ADD workshop. Today we're going to be doing a little bit uh, different than what we normally do. Um, we're not messing around with any tools today. Today I'm going to make myself a basically a bench top power supply. I need one for um, things like uh, those electric scissors that I fixed a, in a previous video. It took me forever to find an adapter that was going to work for those scissors that would give off enough amperage to run something that would normally draw from a battery. Um, and I ended up just really having to overvolt the thing to give it enough juice to run. This, on the other hand, used to be a, it was a, a light for exposing film in a printing workshop. The uh, light was a variable dimming uh, variable brightness light and uh, this varied the amperage. It'll put out 22 volts and 9 amps and uh, for anyone that knows about power supplies those ratings uh, that's that's an excellent rating for a power supply because let's say at 22 volts we're getting 9 amps so at half of that we could get 18 amps and so on and so forth so I'll be able to put out a ton of amperage for um, whatever I need to run or whatever I'm fixing at the time. I uh, got onto eBay and I found a couple of different parts I was going to need. Um, starting off, I didn't really, really have to have this. I could use a meter and read it and figure out my voltage all the time. But this right here is a voltage amperage meter and uh, I'm going to mount this somewhere right in here um, and uh, that's going to be reading my voltage and my amperage then to make my voltage variable I got this little buck converter here and um, well, three screws up here we can vary the voltage the amperage and the uh, cutoff voltage for um, this is for power uh, charging batteries and things from a solar charger so if you didn't get enough input voltage you would have enough uh, protection to shut this off to not ruin anything or blow anything out so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get a piece of metal plate I'm going to cut it out to fit right here and um, I'm also going to have to find a place to mount this because these little screws right here are actually how you adjust everything so putting this inside isn't really going to work too well because I need to be able to adjust these right here. So I'm going to have to get a little creative and figure out how I'm going to set that up. So let me get the piece of metal cut out and I'm going to figure this out a little bit and I'll bring you back when I get all that done. Okay, so I'm back. What I've gotten done here is I've got this cut out. That's going to hold my little guy here, right there, all right, yeah. I'm going to mount my little buck converter to the top of this plate up on the inside in here, right up on the inside. It's just going to go straight up there, and I'll be able to adjust the stuff from right here. Um, got all my connections ready. Uh, they don't, these only have a place for one little uh, connection so if I had more than one wire that needed to go in there I had I soldered them onto a solid piece of copper to go in there I've got my uh, getting my voltage for my little LCD screen and this will come out of the positive side and that'll read the voltage that's coming out to my terminals my negative is going to go straight from here through my LCD and right to my negative. It just runs in series with the amperage to get you that. Um, and basically I'm just going to sandwich this in between the front plate there and uh, mount that on there. Mount this at the top of the uh, plate here. Hook everything up and see how it works. So I'll bring y'all back as soon as I get all this hooked up, show you what it looks like, put the screws in it, and then we will test it out. 
Okay, so got everything back together here. And uh, here, let me raise you up a little bit. That has to look weird. All right, so I got the whole thing back together here. Well, most of the way. I've got my terminals hooked up and I got my board mounted back there in the top and I can adjust it from the top here just put some bolts down through and little connections in there now comes the fun part though I've got to try to hook all this up and then hook up my LCD screen while try <laughs> this is just going to be like juggling a bunch of chainsaws all right so I'm gonna hook up my little amp switch back on this side and see we're gonna sandwich this like this so you don't really see as much of the everything as you want to see or as would be there so we're going to put a screw in here okay so now pop in our lcd screen here there we go and we're done well, let's put our knob back on here all right let's see if anything's shorted we're just going to turn it on and make sure it uh isn't shorted out to anything hmm our lcd isn't coming on wonder why that is Hmm. Okay, time for some troubleshooting. Okay, and we're back. All right, slight mishap. Had a uh, the wire broke loose off of the um, power for the LCD screen. So. Let's uh, plug this thing back up and see what we get. All right, let's turn it on. I'm gonna feed that through there since she, let's feed that through there so I can leave this standing up for you guys because you can't really see it. All right, so it says we're breeding out 12 volts right now. Um, I had a screwdriver for doing this. Hang on. There we go. All right, and I'm going to try adjusting the voltage on it. All right, so right turn, and we go up in voltage. It's uh, it's not the most ideal setup, but it's not the worst thinking I was going to have to have the circuit board on the top was the worst thing it should go all the way up to 30 volts set it down for a second while I do this Okay, 29.6 volts, and I unplugged it, or hit the off switch. It's not really made to work standing up. We're just kind of doing this for our purposes. As you can see, go all the way up to 30 volts. Now it won't really ever be necessary to go up that high, but uh, it's nice to be able to if you have to. So let's go back down to the bottom of the range. 12 volt mark. Down. like 
3.7 volts go up to 3.7 here all right now we're going to test it on here to see if our LCD monitor is giving off a good reading 3.83 volts 3.7 3.8 that's 0.1 of a volt off I can kind of live with that there is an adjustment on the back of that LCD screen but it is a to get this thing out so not really gonna do that all right so to test the amperage we're gonna have to run a through voltage here which means we'll need another meter just so happen to have one all right negative Okay, we're drawing 1.3 amps, says. Ooh, that's really off. But let's do an amperage adjustment and see what happens. See if we can make it pull more amps. Got a loose cable somewhere here. amps not reading anything on here let's try a different uh, different load I don't think it likes batteries too much all right we're gonna try our scissors that we got going here that one day 3.7 volts is I believe what it yeah 3.6 is what this thing runs off of so I can actually match it finally match it properly Alright, I'm sorry this is going to get noisy. Ah, here we go. Three point six amps and it says five point two on here. There's no way this thing is pulling three point six amps. Oh, we got our grounds and stuff touching. Well, scissors aren't working, but it is doing what I'm wanting it to do. It's pulling a load and giving me a, a reading here. So I'm at 3.9 on my Milwaukee meter, or 3.8, five and a half on this little meter. That's not that's not right. Okay, so. What we're going to do is going to have to get in and adjust that little guy on the back of there, which is going to be a whole lot of fun. I'll bring y'all back here in a minute. Okay. So, the uh, got my voltage adjusted quite nicely. The amperage adjustment on the back of that LCD screen <laughs> is more hope and wish that it happened than it really happened. Um, so anyway, I'm not going to worry too much about the, uh, voltage, I mean the amperage, because really the voltage is what I'm after. Um, like I said, I can make things such as this run, uh, you know, <coughs> run, you know, run stuff like this off of this. And I've needed something like that for quite some time now and uh i found this you know little light source or whatever it was and it's perfect for the uh purpose i needed to use it for so at 3.8 volts it says we're drawing 1.6 amps and that's crazy because it was showing five amps when i was uh running it through my true rms meter but anyway i just wanted to show you how to make a power supply for yourself and um you know show you how i was going to do it and this comes out i'm going to probably pull this thing out 30 times a day i i really needed one 
and um, just wanted to let everyone watch it and see how I did. Um, as always, thank you for watching and uh, like and subscribe the video. And I will see y'all on the next one.